All right, we are wasting absolutely no time. Here's what I need from you. Hop into your rowing machine. We're not even gonna worry about the monitor to start. Just grab your handle, sit with me, and we're gonna start warming up. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right, now let's make the assumption that we're starting from scratch. So here's what I need. You're gonna match up with me in the stroke. So as long as it takes me to take the stroke, it should take you. Now that may feel absurdly slow. And that is very normal. So here's what, here's what we do to actually make that happen. Catch up to me at the catch position. That's the front of the stroke. Every time I take a stroke, you take a stroke. The rest of it, don't worry about it. We'll sort that out as we go. So now, we're synced in together. The stroke may feel really slow, and you're thinking, this isn't how I go fast on the machine. Oh, contraire, my friend. Speed on this machine is not determined by our stroke rate, meaning the number of strokes we take. Instead, speed is determined by the ability to put force into the machine, all right? So that is an important note to make, something important to pay attention to, and that is how we're going to move on this machine. So we're gonna start with a little drill here. First things first, I want you to learn how to push with the legs. So we're gonna drop the arms we're gonna drop the, drop the torso swing out of the stroke. And all we're gonna do is glue them in this forward position and we're gonna row legs only. Go ahead and come and join me now. So the arms stay straight. The shoulders stay locked in by driving the shoulders down. You're gonna brace through your core and you're gonna push through the legs alone. Feeling that machine pushing against the foot stretchers So feel that tension, feel what it's like to engage with every stroke. Now this might feel a little bit short, but it's important that you feel your legs working. Okay, now from here what we're gonna do is add in the swing of the hips. So in two strokes we'll do that, that's one. That's two, here we go, add in the swing of the hips. Keeping the arms straight. Feel the legs pushing against the machine. And then feel the relay of those hips opening. And it might be hard not to want to pull with the arms. Think about squeezing your triceps like you're trying to make them big for a picture or something like that. Okay, in two strokes we're gonna add in the arms now. That's one. And we're gonna take a full stroke, that's two. Oh, it feels nice to be able to add those arms into the stroke. So feel the push through the legs. Now feel that leg push, hip swing, and snap of the arms. And now we're gonna reverse it. So now we're gonna go to arms only, and we're gonna build from there on this one, dropping everything else. So arms only. Now match up with me again. This matching is a critical piece of it because it means that you don't have to think about the stroke. I don't want any stopping of the handle, so don't hit yourself with it. Don't stop at the front. In two strokes, let's add in the hip swing. That's one and two. Add in the hips now. No legs, just the hips. So feel the hips and the arms work independently of each other, not at the same time. Arms away, then close the hips. Then swing the hips, then close the arms. All right, feel that rhythm. These are classic pick drills. It's one of the most common drills that you use in rowing. They're really valuable because you learn how to use each movement of the stroke independently. Then you learn how to stack them on top of each other to make a good stroke. All right, in two strokes, let's add in the legs. That's one and two, back to full slide. So now feel what it's like. Push the arms away, close the hips, bend the knees. We'll take 15 more seconds. Feel the legs pushing through the machine. Be strong, follow my stroke. One more stroke. Nice, all right, go ahead and put that handle down. I'm gonna talk you through setting up the monitor. We're gonna get right into that workout. Okay, getting into our workout, the only thing that you need to know is that any machine goes. It doesn't matter what you have. You're great on this workout for the Concept 2 monitor, which I'm going to set it up on. I'm going to select workout, that's the B button, new workout, D button, 
single time B button, and I'm setting it to 10 minutes. That's the minus button C twice, and then the check mark E. 10 minutes on the clock. Let's strap in, let's get ready to go, and you'll find out what the workout is as we go. Here we go, grabbing that handle in three, two, one, go. We're starting out at a stroke rating 20. I want you to match up with me here. Match my catch timing as we were talking about in the warm up. Hanging off of your handle. Hanging out here at this 20. Something important to think about right now is the way in which you catch the tension on the handle. Imagine trying to just feather the catch, just lightly grab the catch, but then accelerate all the way through the drive. Don't try to smash the handle at the catch. That's a huge weak point for a lot of people. This machine likes to be danced with, not fought. So imagine you're dancing with it. You're trying to be gentle and finessed. Okay, at this minute we're gonna change rate down to 16. Oof. Let's see if we can do it in one. Yep, 16. Beautiful. Learning low rates is what will teach you how to put force into every stroke. And that's because keeping that low rate slows the flywheel down, makes it heavier every stroke, and gives you more to resist against or push into as you drive. So, just think fluid. And here's where that finessing the catch really helps. Not smashing it with tension. Okay, we're gonna take that rate up now. Let's take it up to a 22. Here we go. We're playing with rate today. If you couldn't tell. Your stroke mechanics should feel the same. And your goal, our goal today, together, is for you to feel smooth. Don't forget to be smooth. Another thing to note right now, come back to your mechanics. If as the rate changes, your mechanics change, note it. And if you can notice it, you can get better. Right? That part's important. If you can't notice it, that's when you might fall into a rut without realizing it. And rate is down to an 18. So now we're settling in. If you haven't figured out the rhythm yet, you gotta get comfy at every rate. Meanwhile, you gotta lock in those mechanics. And that's where you start to make the progress. You lock in mechanics, you lock in rate, everything starts to make sense, right? It's not all gonna happen at once. Every day will feel a little different. And then what you'll start to learn is that the more force you put into the foot stretchers, the lower your split goes. Wow, that's pretty cool. And all of a sudden you get speed by being strong in the machine. Okay, up to a 24, here we go. Make sure you're not laying back too far. You're being crisp with your mechanics. Just do it together. I'm setting rate for you. Don't worry about what, if you can hold rate on your own. Hold rate because I'm setting it for you, meaning just meet me at the catch every time. Let's just meet at the catch. It's like it's the name of a bar. Let's just meet there every few seconds or so, huh? That sounds easy. Let's do that. And 
And trust me, the length of your workout does not determine how hard you work. How hard you work is determined by how much effort you put into every stroke. You can make them hard, you can make them easy. 20, here we go. So, you are the one that determines how much effort happens inside of a workout. It has nothing to do with you rowing for an hour or 10 minutes. And that's why I keep all of our beginner workouts at 10 minutes. It's because I wanna keep your dose small enough that you continue to improve inside each workout. Not that I beat you down and you end up developing a bad habit because you sit inside of a stroke for, for too long, right? If you're good for 10 minutes and then you fall apart for 50, well then a 60 minute workout is not the answer. Here we go, 26. Come up with me. I got you, just hold this rate with me. Finessing every stroke. We're doing this together, guys. That's the beauty of a follow along workout. And we got to have a little fun at the same time. And 22. There we go. Push on that machine. Don't overreach. Don't overextend at the back. Keep yourself in the confines of good mechanics on both ends. End to end. See, I'm breathing hard. And this is a 10 minute workout. That's why I say, the length of time is not what makes them harder easy. Going up to a 28 on this one, let's go. Gotta work to get up to that 28 now. Holding on to it. I'm with you. Pushing through. We're gonna drop down to a 24 for a final minute. And 24. There we go. Matching together. Come back, match my catch time. Pushing that machine away. This has been quite the ride 
of stroke rate. I'm ready for this cool down. I don't know about you. All right. Now bring it right down into a cool down with me. Clearing it all out. Nice steady movement. Easy rowing here. Now here's where a cool down really pays off. Is you get to focus on mechanics above all else. Right? Be solid. This is where you build your foundation is when you're tired. Breathing. Moving well. Think about the first drills that we implemented today. Legs only, then legs and hips, then full stroke, and then we went reverse order. Arms only, arms and hips, then the full stroke. What do you need to focus on? Now's your time to focus on it. Arms away, keep them level. Push through the legs. Keep them level, all with no effort. All right, we're just moving through space and time, just letting our body continue to move. Woo. Here we go. Feel that beautiful fresh oxygen flowing through your body. Focus on your exhale. Get all that air out. Okay, let's just take all pressure off for this final minute. Just as light as you can make it. This one's about movement. If you can make your flywheel silent or your rowing machine silent, do it. As if you had no resistance on the handle, you're just moving. And handles down. Good, go ahead and meet me for a stretch now. Let's take our feet out and put them on top of your straps. And pull up those toes, and go ahead and reach forward for the toes. You can put your hands on the floor if you want some support. You can put them behind your legs. Try not to pull yourself. Think of this as just like a setting yourself. Let yourself drape into the position. I'm gonna move back on my seat a little bit. I'm sweaty. 95 here today. It's a warm, warm workout. Very nice. Now go ahead and grab the foot stretchers. I want you to just bring yourself in now into this tight ankle position. I want you to just do a brief squeeze and hold here. Get some stretch out of the ankles. Bring your knees into your chest. Use your weight to lean on the knees. You might not be able to hear me, but <laughs> lean on those knees. Ah. Okay, very nice. Go ahead and take that right ankle, bring it up onto the left knee. This is gonna be our last stretch. Bring that chest forward, get that pull through the glute, the hamstring, lower back. Ah. While we're here, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button follow along. If you like this and you enjoy it and you're trying to get more out of this machine, this is the place for you. World's largest growing YouTube channel. We're not joking around. <laughs> I got a workout for all of you. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it because then you'll get alerted. Every time a new workout comes out, you're ready for it. It's right into your inbox and you'll get all the info that we've got. That beautiful, beautiful information teaching you everything you want to know about this machine. Oh, and then switch legs. Left leg up. 
And then if you're looking for more of these beginner workouts, check out our beginner playlist where you're going to get any of the beginner workouts that you need to kind of set that foundation. And when you're ready, you can move on to our intermediate, to our advanced playlists. All right, nice workout guys. I will see you in the next one.